Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es un gran momento para aprender español con Profesor Pablo. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. If you like our lessons, please subscribe and give us a like. Our lesson is imperfect and the imperfect is verb number five. We will be reviewing verb numbers again and periodically throughout all of our lessons throughout our language learning journey. The imperfect, we use it to describe people, places, and things in the past. When we're talking about characteristics, you go to bed with a characteristic, you wake up with that characteristic. So it's a repeated past action. We use the imperfect for that. Things that people would do, would always do, or used to do, that is also imperfect. So to describe people, places, and things in the past, we use the imperfect. Our imperfect endings for AR verbs are ABBA, and for ER and IR verbs, IA. And the three irregulars in the imperfect are SER, which is ERA, IR, to go, IBA, and BEAR, to see or to watch, BE, IA. So we have three examples, Muhammad Ali, an imaginary school, and an imaginary county fair, okay? So we're going to use the imperfect for our three clusters here. First of all, his name was Clay. His, his birth name was Clay. De nacido se llamaba Cassius Clay. Se llamaba Cassius Clay. Antes de Muhammad Ali, se llamaba Cassius Clay. His name was Cassius Clay. Se llamaba. They called him the Louisville Lip. Now you probably know by now that the verb to call, like on the phone, Echame una llamada, llámame, call me, is llamar, double L A M A R, llamar. But when you say it in this instance, they call him, or they used to call him the Louisville Lip, we take the verb decir, which is to sell or to tell, excuse me, to say or to tell, decir. Le decían el Louisville Lip, decir, we're going to take ia and put the n, the n factor, le decían. The Louisville Lip. Nació en Louisville. That's preterite. He was born in Louisville. Nació en Louisville. Y le decían el Louisville Lip. He was tall. We're going to go with era. Era alto. Era alto. Era fuerte. He was handsome. Era guapo. Era muy guapo. He had fast hands. Tenía las manos rápidas. Tenía. Tenía las manos rápidas. He spoke fast. When I get that sucker in the ring, when I stick and move, the world will know it. Hablaba rápido. He spoke fast. Hablaba rápido. It was a characteristic. He'd clown around. Now, payaso is a clown. Payasear, P-A-Y-A-S-E-A-R, means to clown around. Payaseaba mucho. Payaseaba mucho. ¿Verdad? Jugaba. He played around a lot. Jugaba mucho. Payaseaba mucho. He trained a lot. Entrenarse. Se entrenaba mucho. Muhammad Ali se entrenaba mucho. He was always training. He was friendly. Era amable. Era amistoso. He loved kids. The verb encantar. It would be le encantaban los niños. Literally, kids delighted him. A Muhammad Ali le encantaban los niños. So let's roll through it. His name was Clay. Se llamaba Clay. They called him the Louisville Lip. Le decían el Louisville Lip. He was tall. Era alto. He was handsome. Era guapo. He had fast hands. Tenía las manos rápidas. He spoke fast, hablaba rápido. He would clown around, payaseaba. He trained a lot, se entrenaba mucho. He was friendly, era amable or era amistoso. He loved kids. Le gustaban los niños, le encantaban los niños. All right, that's Muhammad Ali. Let's go to an imaginary school. It was on a hill. That's a star for location. Estaba en una colina. Estaba encima de una colina. It was on top of a hill. It was on a hill. Estaba en una colina. It was small. 
That would be Era, Era Pequeña. It had an ocean view, Tenía Vista al Mar. It had a view of the ocean, Tenía Vista al Mar. It was a great place, that would be Era. Era un gran lugar. Era un gran lugar para aprender. Era un gran lugar para estudiar. Era un gran lugar para estar con los amigos. Era un gran lugar para, para todo. We were all friends. We're going to take the verb ser and put it in the we form. Add M-O-S, put an accent on the E because the stress is three vowels back. Todos éramos amigos. Todos éramos amigos. The classes were fun. Las clases en factor eran divertidas or it had fun classes. Tenía. Tenía clases muy divertidas. The teachers were strict. Los maestros eran estrictos. Eran. E-R-A-N. Eran. It was far from the city. Location, estar. Estaba lejos de la ciudad. These are all imperfect because we're describing people, places, and things in the past. Okay. We're not saying what Ali did. He won many titles. He beat Joe Frazier twice. He fought many times. He was born in Louisville, Kentucky. No, that's preterite. This is background descriptive information about the person, Muhammad Ali. Let's go here to imaginary school again. It was on a hill. Estaba en una colina. It was small. Era pequeña. It had an ocean view. Tenía vista al mar. It was a great place. Era un gran lugar. We were all friends. Todos éramos amigos. The classes were fun. Las clases eran divertidas, or it had fun classes. Tenía clases divertidas. The teachers were strict. Los maestros eran estrictos. And it was far from the city. Estaba lejos de la ciudad. Now let's talk about a county fair. Una feria del condado. ¿Verdad? Feria. It was big. Era grande. Era. Era grande. It was once a year. Era. Una vez al año. It lasted two weeks. The verb is durar, like Duracell batteries. Duraba. Duraba dos semanas. A lot of people went. Iba mucha gente. Iba. Right here. Iba mucha gente. A lot of people went. Iba mucha gente. They closed at one in the morning. Cerraban, right here with an N, they closed. Cerraban a la una de la mañana, or you could say, cerraban a la una de la madrugada. Either way. It was a happy place. Era un lugar muy feliz. Everybody was happy. Todos estaban felices en la feria. It was a fun place. Era un lugar divertido. Era. It didn't cost too much. No costaba mucho. Costaba poco. No costaba mucho. The verb is costar. Costaba. They sold candy there. Vender. at an N. N factor. Vendían dulces allí. Algodones. Cotton candy. Vendían dulces en la feria. There were clowns. That's the verb haber, H-A-B-E-R. That's where we get I. But to take it in the imperfect, it is había. And remember, it's singular. It's not plural. Había payasos. Había payasos. And finally, uh, we always had fun. Nos divertíamos siempre. Nos divertíamos. All these are descriptions of the fair using the imperfect. Again, Era grande, era una vez al año, duraba dos semanas, iba mucha gente, cerraban a la una de la mañana, o madrugada, todos estábamos felices en la feria, era un lugar muy divertido, costaba poco, vendían dulces, había payasos y nos divertíamos. So all of these are descriptions of people, places, and things, and they're in the imperfect. The imperfect is such an easy tense, only three irregulars, and then aba and ia. 
All right, I'm going to go through it one more time. Se llamaba Clay, le decían, they called him the Louisville Lip, le decían el Louisville Lip. He was tall, era alto, he was handsome, era guapo. He had fast hands, tenía las manos rápidas. He spoke fast, hablaba rápido. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Be heavyweight champion of the world with the smell of brute and the punch of Ali. Hablaba rápido. He would clown around. Payaseaba mucho. Ali was a great athlete in his own way. Definitely, he was a leader, a statesman, and a comedian. He was hilarious. He trained a lot. Se entrenaba mucho. He was friendly. Era amable. Era amistoso. He loved kids. Le encantaban los niños. Let's go to an imaginary school. It was on a hill. Estaba en una colina. It was small. Era pequeña. It had an ocean view. Tenía vista al mar. It was a great place. Era un gran lugar. All of us were friends. Todos éramos amigos. The classes were fun. Las clases eran divertidas. The teachers were strict. Los maestros eran estrictos. It was far from the city. Estaba lejos de la ciudad. County Fair. It was big. Era enorme. Era grande. It was once a year. Era una vez al año. It lasted two weeks. Duraba dos semanas. A lot of people went. Iba. Iba mucha gente a la feria todos los años. They closed at one. Cerraban a la una de la madrugada or a la una de la mañana. Everybody was happy. Todos estaban felices en la feria. It was a fun place. Era un lugar divertido. It didn't cost a lot. No costaba mucho. They sold candy there. Vendían dulces. Vendían, with the N, vendían dulces. There were clowns. Había, H-A-B-I-A. Don't put an N. Había payasos. There were clowns. And finally, we would have fun. Nos divertíamos. Okay, there you go. Our lesson on the imperfect to describe people, places, and things in the past the way they were, reminiscing, right? Okay, that'll do it for this lesson. Gracias otra vez por estar aquí con Profesor Pablo y nuestra lección del día de español. We'll see you soon. Hasta pronto. Cambio fuera. Tengan un gran día.